A lot of photographers are kind of scared to do double exposure, and I'm not really sure why. Um, I think maybe they've seen tutorials that are just really overly complex or something, so I want to take you through a really simple process to do your own double exposures. Here we have my model Ashley. We took this photo a couple days ago, and the first thing that you want to do is actually have your subject have a light background behind them. This is super important because when you're doing a double exposure, the image that you're going to overlay on top of your subject is going to stick to the portions that are dark. So for instance, if I was going to put a photo on top of Ashley right now and blend it into her, it would stick very well to her hair, because her hair is very, very dark. It would stick well to her jacket, but it wouldn't stick so well to her face. The cool thing about this is that it's not going to stick to the background at all because it's pretty much white. We took this photo early in the morning and we had the sun behind her so that we can get the actual shot that we needed. There were a few areas in the background that we didn't want showing, so we went ahead and took the eraser tool and just took them out. But what we ended up with is this photo right here. So once you have the photo that you're ready to play with, the, the process is actually really easy. You can see here that I've got two layers. I've got one with a photo of mountains on it, and I've got another layer here. It's a photo that we took at a wedding where there's just a bunch of flowers. Let's do the mountains first. I'm gonna go ahead and click it to where we can actually see the layer. And all you have to do is come up to your menu. This is your blending options right here. And you want to set it to screen. Very important, you click that screen button. And you can see with screen, the image will stick to the dark portions only. So now you can see Ashley here who has a double exposure with the mountains inside of her, which is really cool. Over on the side here, you've got different options. Um, if you wanted the background to show up less, you can turn the opacity down. You can make it a little bit more subtle. This is all based on your preference. And so now let's show you the other layer, which is the flowers. I'll go ahead and turn this on. And I'll go ahead and turn it down to screen. And you'll see that it's stuck to her just like here. And you can take it a step further as well. Because if you wanted to show more of her face, for instance, you could take the eraser tool and just kind of lightly brush the flowers away to reveal more of her face. Or maybe you can show a little bit more of her hair back here, whatever it is that you want to do. Now, you're not even constrained to using just one image for double exposure. For me personally, I like to kind of combine two a lot of times. Um, this combination kind of looks really nice to me. Got the mountains and the flowers here. And there you go. 